This local viewpoint is beautiful, if a little blustery, and a great place for taking some landscape photography. The problem that you'll often have with landscape photography is that it can be a little boring, and it often helps to add a bit of context and scale in there by putting in a person. Now, I've only got me, so what that means is that I'm going to get to grips with my camera phone's self timer, giving me time to set my phone up in a place where I've got a nice looking composition, and then give me time to get in there so that I can be part of the frame. Basically, I'm gonna set it up, give myself a bit of time to run into position, find a hopefully natural looking pose, and then take a picture that has a bit more scale and interest than just standing here and bashing off frames of this really beautiful scenery. All of the menu system that I want lives at the top of this particular phone, and I have things like aspect ratio, but also the self timer, which gives me options. I have three seconds, five seconds, and 10 seconds. I feel like three or five seconds probably results in a slightly undignified scramble, and maybe an action shot of me falling over as I reach my spot. So I'm going to go for 10 seconds, give myself a bit of time, and I have a couple of other useful tools here which are great for landscape photography, such as these rule of thirds grid lines. Basically, the rule of thirds says that human beings like a lopsided frame. So if I'm standing kind of towards one side of the frame and then looking through the rest of it, that's gonna look pretty natural and nicely put together. I also have this built-in spirit level, which again is just gonna help me make sure that the horizon of my frame all the way over there is nice and flat and not kind of running off downhill. Once everything is set up, I'm going to pop my phone into its holder, hit the button, and then I have 10 seconds to find a natural looking position on my mark. I'm gonna count, I guess, to 11 to make sure that the camera actually takes the picture before I turn away from it. And I'm going to end up, I hope, with a really beautiful frame that has a bit of scale, a bit of context, and a bit of human interest compared to my kind of default frame that you would just shoot without really thinking too much about it. So I think that is roughly my frame. I'm going to hit the button, and I'm going to get into position. Here we go. The nice thing about shooting off a tripod or a camera stand is that your composition doesn't really change shot to shot, which does make culling your images a little bit more straightforward. So really the variable here is where I stand and whether my pose looks natural or forced or not. Here I think I'm a little bit far off my mark. I'm a bit too far into the scene. I look really small and it doesn't really do the job of scale that I wanted. That was you know, the whole point of taking this particular frame. So we'll bin that one. This frame, I think I'm standing in pretty much the right place, which you'd think most people would be able to do first try, but there we go. I don't particularly like that sort of hand over the eyes as a visor. It's a little bit sort of amateur dramatics for me, a bit too much. Uh, so it's really just the pose in there that I'm not completely crazy about. Uh, so we'll keep hunting for something else. Again, the key to getting a really good frame here is to shoot lots of different stuff, try different poses, different angles, and eventually you'll find something that you really like, like this one. I think the pose here works really well. That sort of three quarters half, you know, a bit of a turn off the camera. So I'm not back onto the camera and I'm not straight side on. Feels like there's a bit more energy and punch to the composition. It feels like I'm looking out across the landscape and kind of drinking it in rather than just kind of idly standing in it. I like the positioning. I like that kind of rule of thirds. I like that you can see all of this big landscape off to the side as well that I'm kind of looking into. This is exactly the frame that I had in my head when I set up for it.